Hi, my name is Yasser Moran, and I'm 16 years old, and I have my collection of aircraft here at Brickfair. So what are we taking a look at here? All right, we are looking at a Russian aircraft for a change. We are looking at uh, a Kamov Ka-52 Alligator, which is a uh, Russian attack helicopter. Now, it's a very cool build. Um, in the real world, what did this helicopter do? What made it uh, important? Um, well, what made it important is that it's one of the newer aircraft, and it's being uh, it's being ordered a lot uh, by different countries and used in their uh, armies and, and and air forces. And I feel like this aircraft it just looks it just looked so fierce. So I knew I knew I had to have it on my shelf. That's awesome. Now, when you started designing it, what did you do? What was your first step? Well, as I said before, um, the most uh, the, the the parts I usually start with are the most difficult. So I. I began with the cockpit. As you can see, it's a very uh, complicated... Lots of glass there. Yeah, correct. Oh, surprisingly enough, it can fit a minifigure inside it. Really? With uh, plenty of space, I can show it to sure. you. Sure. So here, there's a, a panel that comes off. Oh, and, wow. and there's yeah, there's a totally big cavity in there. Yeah, there's there's a, a lot of space for a minifig, and I thought that was very important. I think I think that's very important in all my models to design space for a minifigure. That's like uh, what like the very important thing, right? Because that's like the that's the thing in the real world it has to fit a person. Right, right. That's yeah. In my opinion, I think that's true. Yeah. Awesome. Now, when you're uh, transporting a build like this to a convention, do you do anything special to make sure it doesn't break in transit or kind of uh, get malformed? Well, uh, what I usually do with this is, uh, as you can see, the, the, the rotors are very high, so I have to take them off and take off all the blades. And um, I have to just separate uh, the wings and landing gear and various bits to make sure it can fit into a box and that it's packed with bubble wrap. That's what I usually do. Awesome. Now, uh, going forward, do you think you're going to be doing anything with this model? Uh, maybe modifying it or adding on to it? Well, actually, I think I would like to build another copy of it in, uh, in a camouflage color scheme. That's awesome. Now, if you had to give a piece of advice to someone looking to build a helicopter or a model like this, what would you say? Well, I would say um, be sure to uh, get the rotors right, the length of the rotors and the, 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 the correct spinning motion, and um, be sure to get all the details on that, and uh, I think that's just a very important bit. That's what makes a helicopter a helicopter, the rotors, I think. Definitely. Well, great, Bill. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome.